All right, here we're getting ready to do our driving video on our Immaculate One Owner 92F150. Been letting it warm up here, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to hit the road. I want to fire it up so you can see how it starts warm. Fires right up. All the lights go out. All the check it, you know, like check engine lights, seatbelt lights, all that stuff go out. Gauges are coming up, looking good. We'll go ahead and kick on the uh, four ways and the headlights. So you can see all the all the lights working. Got your dome light working. I mean, this is just a super clean truck. Got your rear cargo light on. Got your light split light working. Alrighty. I'm gonna get ready to roll here. We're gonna do just a little drive. Uh, Kind of going, you know, 30 miles an hour or so, going around some S curves, doing some back road stuff, and then we'll get on the freeway and open her up a little bit. Uh, tilt steering is really nice. Doesn't have any play in it. Steering all super clean. All righty, we'll get ready to rock here. Lower motor works nice. Cold AC. Ooh. Gotta get this thing on a stereo station for us. Works good. You know, so it's all factory original, so it's nothing amazing, but it's nice and clear. Both tanks work. We're gonna go turn the overdrive off. It's not flashing at you or nothing. Get ready to cruise here. Trying to think of uh, anything else. Power windows, all that stuff works. All righty. Got nice brake, stops nice and straight. All the fly windows lock and open nice and firm so you don't get any wind noises. It's got nice reflection off the hood. Got the uh, fly window unlocked over there, so it's giving us a little bit of wind noise. I'm gonna pull over here, lock that bad boy up. I mean, it just stops nice. It's you could tell this thing's got low miles and really well taken care of. The way it drives is just super tight. Uh, no play in the steering or anything like that. Really sound drive, no squeaking and rattling. Let me get the AC going here just a little bit for us. So just giving it medium throttle, horn works, wipers work. And it's got the 351 5.8. And your wipers work on all, all speeds. Interior blinkers work. So if you've uh, gone through and checked out all the videos and all the pictures we have on there appreciate you sticking with us and all that stuff we like to try to give the best example of these trucks you know put the good and bad out there of this truck I mean there's just nothing bad I mean this thing has got you know besides a couple tiny little nicks that we show in the exterior video and the paint I mean this thing is just immaculate you know it's got we got some tight corners coming up you, know, you can see there's no uh, binding or play in the uh, steering. No uh, steering box issues. No leaks or play there. You know, just cruising, giving that medium throttle, getting on the brakes here. Get on the gas a little bit more. Bounce shift's nice. Got really nice sound. No exhaust leaks. Just a nice deep, deep throated motor sound. This motor's really nice and crisp really responsive you now some motors when you uh, that haven't been maintained very good or, or tuned up you get on them and they make a lot of noise but don't go anywhere and kind of fall on their face but uh, this thing has got really nice sound to it We've got some great pickup immediate kick on kick down you can hear it upshift and, I mean the upshift and downshift on this truck is I mean immaculate this truck sounds runs and drives just as it did new I mean it's as tight as you can imagine 
So I'm gonna turn the overdrive on because we're gonna get ready to get on the freeway here. You know, I tell most people, you know, my opinion, you know, if I'm doing under, you know, 45 or under or coming up to a good size hill uh, or doing some towing or hauling that I, I keep the overdrive off just because it keeps the the wear down on the transmission, you know, from upshift and downshift and upshift and downshift. And it also keeps your RPMs and torque at a, a good range where if you get on it, you know, it, it just climbs. This truck, you know, when you slam on the brakes, this thing just stops nice and straight. It doesn't pull or do anything. I've uh, got a really tight corner coming up here to get on the on-ramp so you'll be able to see. Uh, you can see all the needles and all the gauges, you know, speedometer, tachometer, aren't having a hard time reading, um, aren't bouncing back and forth or jumping all over the place. You can see that tight corner coming up a hill here, so I'm going to go ahead and hammer down on it so you can see the acceleration on this thing. It doesn't suffer a bit on the highway. off the throttle a little bit and you can hear it deaccelerate pretty good. I'll turn the overdrive off just so you can see how that works. You see the RPMs kick up. I'll turn it back on. Kicks back into overdrive. And again just downshift in case you need to pass. Nice upshift. It's a really solid consistent truck. I mean there's no questions on this thing. Um, but it's going to be going at no reserve. Uh, it's going to be a seven day auction so good luck.